Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, November 10th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier ran into an interesting set of uh, malicious scripts on Virus Total that kind of show the progression of the script as whoever is writing is is continuously improving the script and adding new features or making it more difficult to detect for antivirus. Interestingly, the attacked system is apparently Mac OS uh, because it uses OS a script as part of the commands it's executing. Also, the file itself was submitted to VirusTotal from a US IP address, but some of the references, in particular, the name of the worksheets is in French. Some of it also looks more like the attacker is really just playing around uh, with things like, for example, using the macOS say command that can be used uh, to speak text over the system's speakers. Not clear if this was an actual attack or really part of a red team exercise. Can't really tell based on the relatively brief snippet that was submitted to virus total. Most attackers stay away from VirusTotal because they know that their scripts will be shared and Xavier will write them up. They typically use sort of their own similar systems that do not share results with antivirus vendors. Let me have a good reminder from Kaspersky that ransomware is still very much a thing for Linux systems. I believe actually some of the early ransomware was really more targeting Linux than Windows. The particular example that Kaspersky is looking at here is Ransom EXX. This particular ransomware does show up on Windows and originally did focus on Windows, but can now also be found used against Linux. Of course, with many organizations using Linux systems, for example, for backups and as file servers, it makes perfect sense for an attacker to go after these systems as well. And Bleeping Computer is reporting that Microsoft is apparently warning select customers about fake advertisements for malicious Microsoft Teams updates. These ads apparently are focusing on educational institutions currently, but have also targeted other institutions in the past and once installed cobalt strike and also info stealers are installed on the system so it will all start out with a user visiting a random website and a malicious ad on that website will then display a pop-up asking the user to update Microsoft Teams. That update is actually the downloader that will then add additional malicious software on the system. This appears to be also one of the stepping stones then towards ransomware infections. And apparently in particular in educational institutions, this has been successfully used to deploy ransomware. And Sonatype is on a roll finding malicious NPM packages in part because, well, that's sort of one feature they sort of added to their software recently. The latest example is Discord.dll. This is interesting in that the author that released this malicious module also released a couple of good and functional modules. So that makes it even more difficult to spot these malicious accounts. Now, discord.dll, once loaded, will export Discord tokens and exfiltrate them to the attacker. It will also exfiltrate copies of web pages that you may have been visiting. While the module hasn't been particularly popular and only had 100 downloads, it was available for a total of five months. And Cloudflare now for a while has been measuring essentially the implementation of RPKI. RPKI is short for Routing Public Key Infrastructure and essentially 
provides digitally signed assertions that a certain network owns a particular IP address block, essentially helping out BGP, the routing protocol, to be more secure. Now, looks like the protocol is being implemented more and more. I think we still got quite a ways to go there, but uh, Cloudflare at least is saying that it looks like the internet is becoming measurably safer. And I noticed this is true for sort of both ends of it. First of all, there are more prefixes that are signed. And secondly, there are more ISPs that actually validate uh, the signature. Well, that's it for today. Remember, Patch Tuesday today. And that's it. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.